everybody, welcome back to my channel. I have a very exciting package today. This is all the way from Japan. Um, it contains quite a lot of photo cards. I do have quite a long story to go with this video, but I'll start to open up the package. So I ordered this off of a seller on eBay. I'm not going to tell you who the seller is because I do not recommend this seller at all. So, yep, it's them. I'm gonna say straight off the bat, I paid way too much money for this. If you're uncomfortable talking about money and all that kind of thing to do with photo card collecting, this probably isn't the video for you. So I went onto eBay like two weeks ago. I might, I might just stop unboxing. I'll put a timestamp when I actually show the photo cards in case anyone's just interested to see the photo cards. I went on eBay two weeks ago and I came across a Jungkook photo card. It was a Japanese photo card. I collect just Jungkook. I'm trying to collect everything of his. And this photo card was a really reasonable price for what it was. So I clicked on it, added it to my watch list, and then proceeded to go into the seller's um, eBay store. I saw there that they had basically every single Jungkook card, like Japanese card. They were all pretty, pretty good prices. So I added everything to a watch list. And sorry, I have just noticed, if you're wondering why I'm so white here, I actually don't know why. Um, <laughs> it's... It's just my fingers, like it's not tan or anything. But anyway, back to the story. I had about 15 items I was gonna get from this seller. So I messaged them and said, hey, is there a chance to get combined shipping? I'm looking at this, 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 and this. And I sent him a screenshot of all the items because the shipping was around um, 40 to 50 Australian dollars per card. So he messaged back. Um, and I'm saying he because it was actually a guy. Like, it doesn't really matter if it was a girl or a guy, but it was confirmed later that it was uh, a guy that was selling me this stuff. So I'm, I'm just going to use, um, yeah, if I say he, it was, it was actually a, a guy. Um, but it doesn't matter. So I sent him the screenshots of the items, and that included the price of the cards. He sent back a message and said, yes, that's all fine let me see what I can do. So he sent, he sent back just a link in another message and I clicked on the link and it was to a new item that he'd put up and it was just all the cards um, under one item and it was labeled Jungkook, Japanese, photo cards, free DHL shipping. And I was like, oh, awesome. Like he's given me free shipping. Like. That's really cool. And he said in his message, I've given you free shipping because you're buying so much. Now I had worked out the cards, like just alone. Um, if he was giving me the free shipping to be around high 800 Australian dollars. And for Jungkook's cards, like all of his Japanese cards, that's that's a fairly good price. You're not gonna get them much cheaper than that. It didn't include Kai and Nenka, um, No More Dream or wake up or any of the new the journey cards so it also didn't include these two and it includes a couple of other things that i saw and i was like that's a pretty good price for them he sent me through the link and i clicked on it and i was expecting one price but it came through and it was around 1300 australian dollars and i was like dude that's like what 400 dollars more than what it should be I was like, why, why is it that much? So I went in and I looked at the cards and he had increased the price on quite a few of them by about 50 Australian dollars. So I messaged him back and it was quite late at night and I should have taken my time like doing the message, but I was like, oh my gosh, like basically in knowing that I was gonna purchase these items, he's upped the price of them. So in my message, I kind of said, I really don't appreciate that you've increased the price of these items in knowing that I'm definitely going to buy them. And he didn't reply. So the next morning I woke up and I was like, I actually didn't check the seller's reviews really. So I was like, I don't know why I didn't do that. That was probably my first mistake. So I went on and his reviews were pretty good. Like there were, there was hundreds that were positive, but there were seven that were negative. 
So a lot of them said, yeah, the cake, the card came, it was perfect, like great packaging and all that kind of thing. Like the packaging that I just opened was okay. Like these are, these are expensive cards. So I'm a bit iffy that like he's literally just put these in like a top loader. Top loaders are fine, but these were coming from Japan. So, and I'm in Australia, so I'm a bit, still a bit iffy. Someone made the comment that he doesn't actually have the items. He just buys them off of Bai or something like a different seller when you order them, which I do agree with because the, the pictures and the items that I bought are still up on eBay. Everything's still there. Someone else can still buy them for the increased price now, apparently. I messaged him back and I said, hey, like I'm still really, really interested in buying these because I haven't seen them for a better price than what he was selling. I mean, like you could look around and buy and find them individually and save a little bit of money there, but most of the cards I couldn't find on buy. So I'm still interested in buying, but I would appreciate if you would sell them at the price that was first quoted in the images that I sent you. And he sent back a message maybe an hour later and said, I do not appreciate being accused of this. Of course I up to the prices because it's jungle's cards and they're worth a lot of money and the prices have increased recently so i matched my prices to that and i was like what <laughs> they didn't increase overnight like i don't i don't really understand how that works and the only thing that i can work out is that he takes some of the money from the shipping as coverage for the price of the card he didn't actually offer me free shipping because he ups the price of the cards so <sighs> And he said, I'm just going to cancel the entire thing if you don't pay now. And it's just really unfair that you've done this. I'm not making profit on this item, this item, and this item because I'm offering you this, 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 and this. And I've already discounted it so much. And I don't, I really, really don't know why I went through with this sale. Because at that point, I should have just gone, fine, cancel it. But it was... I. The messages that he sent me were just so rude and demanding and I just, I don't know how I ended up ordering these because it just, it, photo card collecting should not feel, make you feel upset and this sale just made me feel upset and so anxious. Like I was so scared after I placed the sale that he would just cancel it. And that, I mean, like, in a way I wanted that to happen because I wanted, then I would get the money back. I took out, um, I think, three items to bring the price down a bit, a bit less than what it was. Because that is an extraordinary amount of money to just drop on, like, pieces of paper, really. So, I, I, I don't recommend this seller. I mean, tracking, the tracking was good. Everything else was good. It says in the thing that everything's in perfect condition. So we're just about to find that out. I've got to separate that experience away from these cards because I don't want to open my binder, look at these cards and be like, that was just a horrific experience. But um, here we are. Uh, so I've got my coffee, <laughs> a black coffee because I need it. And then I also have a tea. Let's get into it. If you hit the timestamp, hello, welcome. Uh, basically, I don't recommend the seller that sold these to me. Uh, timestamp people, we are just about to open some cards. This is exciting, let's get into it. Okay, I just touched up my nails. <laughs> So hopefully they survive this. I actually got another package today. Oh my gosh, I didn't know that it was coming. It's more exciting than this package. I don't know whether or not that video is up yet, but um, I mentioned in a couple of videos before this that there was a very exciting package come and it was very big. This is not that package. <laughs> it's, the, it's the other one that's sitting right next to me. I should have cut this. I don't know why I didn't cut that. Yes, this is what I thought it was. Okay, 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 okay. I've been looking around on Bai. I'm gonna place a Bai order tonight because there is quite a lot of stuff on there that I would like. I was just so iffy about using it because I don't know. It, I find I do find it quite hard to like search on there. 
but quite a lot of YouTubers have done some videos lately, like explaining how to use it, which has been really helpful. Like a lot of stuff is cheaper than eBay prices. And there's a lot more variety, so I might be converting to a buy girl. It's a bit dull in here, should I turn on a light? Hang on. Is that any better? That's a bit better. We can see. Yeah, don't let anyone bully you into a sale. <laughs> I mean, you can probably find the seller if you look hard enough. But don't do it. <laughs> okay, so. What's in here? Ah, oh, yes, yes, yes. I got this file, John Cook's file. Not for sale. <laughs> Yeah, well, this appears to be in perfect condition. That's a plus. I pay, that's probably the only item that I paid way too much for. <laughs> like, you can get that really cheap on buy. This is Burn the Stage ticket holder. It has some like rubbing on it. Okay, well, that's okay. I love random stuff like this if you're wondering why on earth did she get that <laughs> like look at him that's that's cool oh you can see my shirt adidas yeah i love random like that's my favorite kind of stuff that and promotional stuff like those coca-cola pcs if i ever find jungkook's coca-cola pc i will be so happy in life <laughs> They're so cool. And I ordered the Baskin Robbins ones, um, what, yesterday or something? They're coming out with so many random cards at the moment. You got the Chilsung Cider. In the Soup is having, come on, get out, is having PCs. Oh my gosh, I don't want to bend it. Ah! Okay, there we go. But I can't order those PCs because they don't ship to Australia at the moment. Weverse doesn't. So I'm gonna have to try and get them somehow. That one is so cool. That's... J-Hope? Whoa, wait, is that J-Hope? Is it just me or does that really look like sugar? What? Oh my gosh, that's not sugar. Oh. Oh my gosh, that really, really looks like sugar. But there he is. I was like, oh my gosh, these are fake. This seller is worse than I thought. He sold me fake things and they have the wrong name on them. But I was wrong. Whoa, that like, that's like how J-Hope's CC card does not look like him. They're all there, yes. One, two, three, four. Okay, they're all there. Thank you, Mr. Seller. That does not look like J-Hope. I don't know, maybe it does. I don't know, that really threw me. Like, whoa. <laughs> like if this guy did just like buy them off of secondhand sellers, he got them really fast if he did. But that review on his thing was right. Like all the items that I bought are still up for sale, so. I am a bit confused. Okay, so these are IC stickers. So you put them on like your travel cards. I just thought they were like, I just like things like this. <laughs> like how random, <laughs> really cool. Okay, now we move into actual PCs. Hey RM. RM has been bias wrecking me so badly lately. Okay, these are the light PCs. Probably no points showing the back. These are definitely real, because I do have the fake ones of these. So it'll be good to replace them. <gasps> that one is so cute! Oh no! <gasps> so this entire package must have world's most expensive cards. 
Oh wow, they are tight. Um, I really don't want to damage my nails. Well, okay, I think I might have to cut it out of here. Cause like, how on earth did they get it in there? Oh my gosh, I can't believe that worked. <laughs> Yay. The top load is a really good quality. <laughs> if that matters. Oh my gosh, my nails are going to be destroyed for the next film. Please be good quality. So this is from the first Japan fan meeting. It's so disappointing when they just have the back like that. Like, I feel like I could just print this off. <laughs> I love that. I love that. This is like the bigger version of his photo card. And the final one is the continuation benefit. The wings one. Nice. I am going to look up um, just some other people's photos of this just to make sure that they are official I'm fairly certain that they are they're in pretty good quality this one has like a couple of a couple of dents but I think that just might be it oh my gosh yep. uh, I'm not gonna name them until I flip them because okay boy in love I was like I'm so scared to get them wrong because they kind of do look very similar Boy in love. Run. Whee. Danger. Awesome. I'm pretty sure these two were the... He increased the price on these two. I need you. Especially this one, but I haven't seen this one selling on Buy or anywhere. I've seen it selling from some Instagram sellers. This one's the Christmas message one. And these look to be in perfect condition, which is good. Cool. Well, I do believe that is all for this video. Wow. <laughs> Thank you for listening to my little story. Um, again, be careful out there, guys. Don't get pressured into buying anything. It's your money. You can say no to things, especially on eBay. Um, Instagram sellers are a bit different. Like, if you say that you're going to buy something, if they reserved it for you, please do, like, stick to your word in that account. Don't do what I did and just, like, buy it because you feel obligated or you feel pressured to do so um read everything and understand everything before you message a seller especially instagram at the moment there is extra shipping costs there are um paypal fees uh like goods and services and all all of that make sure you understand everything before you go ahead with the sale this was fun to unbox but uh i definitely need to do a junk hook binder update so I might be filming one of them very soon. Um, I'm going to unbox this other package now. Um, and hopefully that video will be up shortly. Might be before or after this one. But it is very exciting that one. So thank you for watching this video. Please like, comment and subscribe. If you have any questions about anything. Please leave them in the comment section down below. Um, I mostly respond on Instagram as well. So you can contact me on there. That's also down there. Um, okay, I think that's all. Thank you for watching. Bye!